Hello, everybody. Name me the Scott. Are you sleepy? Okay. Um, konnichiwa. My Hello. Lisa, I'm from uh, Horn Foundation based in Yogyakarta, Indonesia. And uh, Horn is a platform for the open community and everybody can come and join and produce things uh, depending on the, their ideas or their uh, backgrounds related with uh, creative community and the thousands of uh, group and uh, communities uh, in uh, Yogyakarta or in other cities in Indonesia. So Horn Foundation is just one of them. It's not only one uh, creative community in Indonesia, but if you come to Indonesia and jump around the cities and uh, other islands also, you will be really um, excited with a lot of uh, problematic in the society and uh, how we can survive and find a solution. So um, I will start with the music first. To, for you to imagine something about the Indonesia. Oh, Indonesia. Non-conformity in my inner self. There's a whole thing connected to Brazil and where I'm from. So that's connected to third world lyrics because this is this is their lyric. When I'm singing about inner self of growing up in these fucked up streets and shit, the Indonesian fans reading some of those lyrics, they, they feel connected to it. The Bulls are coming from the third country as well and Indonesia with poor injustice everywhere, starving people, you know, the corruption. They're singing about that too in their lyrics. You know, it's uh, some match with what happened in this country all over the years. Halfway to the show, the, the kids got so crazy. Fucking place, chaos, man, hell, broke loose in a mosh pit. A couple minutes after that, they stopped the entire show and had these huge bamboo sticks. And they were like kind of beating like the first row of kids. And they made 20,000 people sit down on the floor without making one sound. You know, it's like, i never seen anything like that in my life. You know, it was like, none of us, man. I, I, I think we're like, holy shit. We're playing for the first time ever here. We're so fucking proud to be playing for all of you. I'm sorry for everything that happened tonight. It's a lot similar. The kids in Brazil or in, in Eastern Europe, rebellion, fucking pissed off, real pissed off about the shit, the way the life is, is how they, they had to, you know, they grow up in this shithole and pretty much gonna die in this shithole. So what do you do about it? You know, so metal comes in. So yeah, this is just one of the example what happened in 1992. And now it's uh, already 22 years from uh, this event in Surabaya what, uh, in 1992. And the condition, uh, it's not pretty much different. It's still the same. So who? in this room is still believe about the future. The future is to become positive and become a better life, or in another hand, it's become worse and worse. Because in Indonesia situation, the crisis of the economy, the crisis of the metal, the crisis of uh, many things, uh, natural resources, and uh, of course, uh, the main problem of uh, deforestation and mining exploration, is become worse and worse, uh, including now in the political situation. So now I just uh, want to introduce our uh, institution. It's called Horn Foundation. It's become foundation since uh, 2011, and we start in 1999. And now we have a three platform for the open uh, culture and open community. One is called FUFOX, an, an extraterrestrial study center. And this is uh, for people who working in the pure science and trying to find something or trying to find a solution in the real society. Who is society? Society is us. Society is you. 
So it's not uh, become radically have a distance between the creator, artist, and the society itself, because the all the creator is also the society. And the second one is Horn Fab Lab, is uh, running since 2011 also. It's the first Fab Lab in Southeast Asia. And the third one is Horn Factory, uh, working with the discourse and media studies. And also we have also uh, hundreds of uh, projects uh, and uh, as Jason explained before that we uh, also launched the new platform for the open culture and critical making. And every year also we uh, organize a uh, sales button, the media art uh, festival. video because the time is only 20 minutes and now uh, another example also uh, in 2012 we, we launched the project is called micronation macronation uh, democratizing the energy and we're trying to find the solution how to produce the ethanol as an alternative energy from the hay or the straw from the rice because why because Indonesia have more than 11 million hectare of rice field and the straw is they just burn on the field. And only less than 5%, uh, they uh, go to feeding cow or uh, burn to making a ceramic and so on. So uh, with some scientists from the real university, uh, the crazy professor or crazy hackers uh, in around uh, Yogyakarta area, that we collect uh, almost 100 people working from uh, biotechnology staff and uh, hackers to create the combination how to find the solution about the crisis of the energy. And uh, we also built the small uh, earth station to catch the data from the our own satellite. So we hack not satellite from other countries because it's not allowed and we have an ethic to do that. And uh, we hack our own satellite. And then uh, we make the mobile lab, the one that uh, the symbolic of the car. And then from the satellite, the symbolic of the parabola is the, the small earth station, and then go to the supercomputer, uh, and then analyze the data. So this kind of things is really important, how to engage the real society and how artists can do how the hackers can do, how the creative people can do in the real society. It's not only uh, make a theoretical or just collect the people to do discussion. It's not help. It's not help at all in the Indonesian situation. 
So I will have the, this is the how to imagine the simulation of the site of the micronation, macronation. One hectare area of rice field can feeding 100 people around. And 100 people is means that 25 family, mama, papa, and two kids. So uh, there is a housing, there is a cow, chicken, and then pool for the fish, and then a small laboratory to produce the resulting of the field. This is the real uh, example that we uh, built in the two area in the north of Yogyakarta. And this is the schematic of uh, what the farmer can do from uh, fish, rice field itself with the vegetables, and also cow or chicken or uh, other things. And this is the final result that in the name of art, we present of the, this kind of the installation. And the installation itself is not only talking about the aesthetical things, but it's real how to analyze the data from the satellite and how to analyze comparing with the pop how many population in Indonesia, how many uh, rice fields, how many uh, people around uh, outside Java Island, which is the main island in Indonesia, and when the Indonesia will be sustained with this, this system. Potensi ini sih cukup besar karena kita memang satu negara yang basis akunya kuat dan sebetulnya dari, dari dulu kita keluh bahwasanya kita itu kalau hanya sekedar mengandalkan kepada menanam tanah lalu kemudian langsung jual tanpa ada proses nilai tambah itu sebenarnya saya usaha di lahan pertanian itu adalah mengelola jeraminya sebagai bahan utama karena ini menyangkut limbah padi limbah pangan energi alternatif secara teknologi mikroorganisme yang bisa diandalkan untuk merubah bahan-bahan tubuh kandungan emisi lulusannya bisa sekitar kalau bisa mengolah jerami eh, atau damen ini kan nanti bisa menambah perekonomian nah, kalau bisa ini dijadikan sebagai bahan bakar itu bagus sekali Jadi istilah mikronesis di sini di proyek ini sebenarnya membuat itu yang super besar tadi itu menjadi kecil, misalnya seperti etanol membuat uh, skala laboratorium. Makrolesen makrolesen ini kita bekerja sama dengan komunitas-komunitas pertanian di Cangkringan, komunitas Alkodir, Kandang Garden, dan komunitas Alaram. Di sana kita melakukan uji coba sebuah teknologi pertanian. Kita membuat sebuah model sawah, bagaimana dengan kita menanam padi, kita bisa menghasilkan ikan, kita bisa menghasilkan banyak sekali. Supercomputer digunakan untuk mengolah seluruh data yang di grab dari satelit. Data itu berupa kontur tanah, kecepatan angin, musim, dan seluruh data berupa variabel itu, itu akan diolah di supercomputer ini. Saya ingin mengajak untuk semua melihat hari ini kemampuan kita. And also uh, one a good example uh, from Japan uh, last uh, two months ago that I also uh, attend uh, is called Media Art Kitchen Yamaguchi Open Call Laboratory and Exploration into Social Anthropology in Asia. So um, the idea was uh, how to understanding about natural resources in Japan, which is, uh, for example, just small example that why uh, Japan always import all product uh, using bamboo or wood from China, which is, uh, this is contradictive with the situation in, uh, in Japan because Japan have a lot or even overloading for the uh, bamboo and wood. And of course, I understand that uh, how 
to produce the product inside Japan is more expensive than to import from the other countries. So that's why the, the grow up of the economical uh, system much uh, when they increase uh, better and better, that is not guaranteed to have a good system inside the society. And this is some of uh, some picture that I collect uh, from the last project in Yamaguchi in YCAM. Workshop, we produced uh, some uh, a collaboration also with uh, FabLab Kikatagaya or a lot of artists uh, in the region and doing with children also. And uh, I think it's similar what happened in uh, Southeast Asia, especially in Indonesia, because uh, we have almost 100 million hectare area and uh, more than 50% from all uh, Indonesia area have uh, deforestation, so which is uh, more than 600 hectare area per year, it's gone. So this is like a data uh, in 2006, 2007, uh, how many wood consumption in Indonesia per year and how much money that we losing from uh, this situation, mafia things or the people that didn't aware or didn't care about the uh, natural resources and the future of the society and just selling and burning and then cutting uh, wood and then uh, export to other countries for billion US dollars per year. And uh, this is you can find in internet very easy um, uh, the prediction in 2020 that uh, Borneo or Kalimantan will be gone. If, uh, it's more than 90%. So uh, I think that, uh, yeah, I know this guy since long time, since 2002, when I uh, have. Uh, uh, residency program in Arkas in Moria, Ibaraki. Um, what I want to do is uh, just to tell that uh, the simple things, meet the simple things, uh, is, will be complicated. It's uh, our experience to do uh, something in the society or mix with many, many people from different backgrounds, for example, that is will be really complicated. It's not easy at all. So it's good uh, that Joy Ito from uh, MIT say that also. And this is one of the best friend of mine. And uh, Gunalan also always mentioned about uh, why we explore the technology. Why are we always trying to do uh, in the better life. What is better life? Because the technology itself uh, is, is us, is, is, uh, is already inside us. Uh, we cannot deny or we cannot uh, make the distance with the technology, it's impossible. So if we uh, start to make a discussion how to deal with the technology, I think uh, I'm not going into the this kind of discussion because the technology itself is us. So um, I really interesting with uh, Internet of Things now. So um, uh, Rob van Kandenberg also one of the our advisor for Horn Foundation, and uh, he create a lot of critics and a lot of uh, um, theoretical. Uh, things about uh, Internet of Things and uh, how it impacts on the society and the city as well. And one a good example that we did in Taiwan, um, we are not create the artwork or the something with aesthetical things, even inside the gallery or inside the art people who to um, who to see or enjoy the artwork itself. But we went to four uh, real laboratory with a real professor who didn't understand at all about the art or media art things. And then uh, we went to the Taichung District Agricultural Research 
an extension station council of agriculture and also uh, we go to the biotechnology uh, and food science and also we go to the department of the life science and uh, those university and the professor invite also uh, many different uh, students to make the uh, same research and then uh, analyze what kind and how the way how to present to the public, how the public or the uh, audience can understand what happened in the laboratory. And it is some, uh, some images that I, I collect also. And then in this, uh, in this session that already um, created by a lot of people is not depending on the artist anymore, and it's not depending on the art institution anymore, that it's possible to create something, how to explain. So in the way how to explain the technology and the aesthetical things is not depending anymore of the artist and art institution. So everybody can do that. This is the future. This is the future of uh, how we can imagine uh, something like this. So this is the, the next uh, project that we are uh, imagining what is the ideal uh, media art center or media lab uh, in Indonesia. I will make very quick because the time is uh, maybe already over now. So if you look at the workshop uh, of uh, and did a workshop uh, during the sales button, you can open the, uh, the website and also uh, Horn Fab Lab, also the new uh, platform for uh, open culture and critical making is called a prototype. We just produced prototype this year and the next year we continue for the transform making International Summit on Critical and Transformative Making and uh, will be in September next year. So um, this is the text that I will make uh, very quick also. So we uh, invite all of you who are interesting, uh, interested with uh, this activity or this collaboration with uh, hackers, makers, bricolers, educator, educators, researcher, theorists, artists, even designers from all over the world next year, just uh, let me know or just open the website and uh, we will launch the open call very soon. And then um, I hope that we uh, uh, can continue this discussion or can uh, make the real activities and the real solution for the real problem in the real society. Arigato gozaimasu.